So I had my first paid public speaking event this last weekend, and it was absolutely mind-blowing. Like, absolutely mind-blowing. Wait till the end. Hit that like, subscribe. Like, right there. And let's dive in. So I had my first paid speaking event this weekend at my friend Josh Pettigrew's mastermind. And when I say it was very humbling to be on the stage with the people who I was, here's a background of the people. So the first dude who spoke, his company just got valuated at $300 million and he's 30 years old and it's a SaaS company for, e for e-commerce. They have multi like high, high eight figures in the bank right now and they're going to go for a series C. And his next step is to be like a unicorn. And then when I say unicorn, he wants to be worth the company wants to be worth a billion, then go up to 10 billion. That's pretty bananas. And then the second guy and this guy, that guy was only 30, by the way. And then the second guy was a 28 year old whose company last year did one hundred and thirty million dollars in revenue. And he already has a plane. Uh, and then me, I get up like, yeah, we're going to make a couple million this year. Like we do some cool shit. It was for me, it was very humbling. And, th and then we had Van and Van just sold a he sold a agent, another agency for. I believe eight figures. And then he's one of like the best speakers in the world on marketing through social media and with influencer marketing. Just absolute insanity. Right. And then there was me. Little old me talking about, oh, yeah, we'll do a couple mil this year, like nothing big. And it was very humbling, but it was still so it was humbling because like, man, I'm really on the stage. I don't belong to I don't deserve to be here, which was my real personal opinion, just based off of the quality of those speakers. And then the other thing was like, wow, there is so much success and money in the world. Why not you? Right. Because we have the. Everyone up there are savages, and then now that I keep getting in these rooms and more rooms and more rooms and more rooms, it is very, very common for dudes to be making multiple eight figures in their 20s. Like to where in the world that I started in, let's just say real estate, dudes would, be, if you're making seven figures in real estate, like you're a savage, like you're doing really good. But in all reality, like it's, it is a very, very small game that you are playing at that level. And if you just aim for more, you will get significantly more. And it's kind of, it's kind of crazy to think about. All right. And so one of the guys did, who did 130 million, it was with buying RV sale with, uh, with RV dealerships. Like he was just acquiring RV dealerships. And his goal is obviously a billion dollars. I really thought like, yeah, man, we're going to do something. We're going to shoot for $500 million. Like that was my goal. Like, I, I want to sell a company for $500 million. I want to do $500 million in revenue. And then I get put in a room with two dudes who will hit that in the next couple of years. The 28-year-old dude's only been doing it for like four years. The other guy, the SaaS company guy, has only been doing it for two and a half years, to put that in perspective. So that fast, things can change in your business life. Like, that, that fast. And I was talking to the winning family today. And I was like, man, and this is not a slight against them. I think they are extraordinary entrepreneurs and amazing humans. But were they were they so extraordinary I did not think it was duplicatable? No. And I got I talked to both of them for a long time and I think they're fucking amazing. But it's still something we can achieve. But what is the game you're playing and what are you aiming at? If we are still only aiming for, oh well, I, I want to hit six figures this year. That's all we're going to get. But if we are trying to solve bigger problems and get to that really like next big multiple to create real life changing money, that's where we need to go. We need to aim for that multiple eight figures, aim for that nine figures. And this has become, it is shocking how common of an occurrence has become in my life of people who are absolute savages who are my age. They feel the same way about themselves that I feel about myself. To where they're like, yeah, like we're doing good, but like I, I am shooting for a lot. And one of the things I really 
admired about the guy who had the, and I'm just trying not to use names, the guy who had the RV dealerships. He grew up with his parents, and his parents were a very respectable family in Utah, and his parents took him absolutely everywhere with them growing up. They were really big in MLM, and so he said he was speaking in, in front of stages like in high school. And the only thing I can say is they did a remarkable job with their son for him to, like, he turned out amazing. Like, he has a head on his shoulders, bro. He is, he's rolling. Like, he is polished. And you could tell that his parents raised him the right way. And so now, I've started to bring my son around with me more so he can experience what I do every day. Right? I want him to see what is going on in my life. I want him to see how to negotiate deals. I want him to see how to lead people. I want him to learn finance. Like I want him to learn all the things that I'm learning. And then hopefully if he wants to, he can step into his own game and kill it. Cause this guy who owns the RV dealerships, we'll just call him John. John, his parents are multiple nine figures and above in net worth. And there was no handout. Like legit, like in, this is an extraordinary feat for someone whose parents are that successful to get somewhere and the parents just developed him right like that he is what i would like to turn my son into to where you they were able to pass all of those learned skills into their son and he took off with it ran and he's hey don't get me wrong like, this dude ran in some serious bumps before he even hit any type of stride like he went up and then he went down just like every entrepreneur and then he bounced back again and so now it's got me thinking, okay, like how much can I instill in Zeno, my son, over the amount of time I have with him? How can I bring him around me more? How can I get him to learn everything now to where, let's say he's at 15 years old, he can do whatever he, like he could take a business and start to where I know the next trend I would say is that a lot of these entrepreneurs who are killing it now, it's because they've been an entrepreneur since they were 12 and it's like a legitimate entrepreneur and they've learned all of these lessons over time and they've just been in the game longer. One thing I always say is that like your skills exponentially grow over time because they compound on themselves to where like, yeah, like you've only been in the game like four years, but the dude who's been in the game for, let's say since he was like 12 years old or the guy who was really like selling candy at like seven years old, he does have like a knack at sales way ahead of you to where as me. I just wanted to play video games, right? And so if I can instill all of those things in my son and our kids to come, I think I'll put them in a better spot just overall. And because I wasn't big on bringing my son with me anywhere, right? I was like, yeah, bro, go play with other kids. Like we'd take him to daycare just so we could go to daycare and play with other kids. But now I want him to be a lot more exposed to my world. It'll help him no matter what he decides to go into. Like maybe he doesn't want to be an entrepreneur, but he'll learn so much just by being with me and all the steps and all of our rapid growth that we're having. And now it's my job to instill that into him really early on and show him how to truly operate as a high level. I don't want to say entrepreneur as a high level person. And that was, that was one thing that really stuck with me from the event is how well that dude was raised. And I'd say that was my biggest takeaway. The dude was raised by amazing parents and it showed and he executes very well. The second biggest takeaway was I am playing way too small still. Right? I mean, again, if they are doing it right now, what is stopping me? And I would say, okay, well, just find the vehicle I want that I think will take me there and use that vehicle. And... And then the next one was make sure I'm in a room and I, I, I hammer the same shit all the time. Make sure I'm in a room with people who make me feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. For me, it's really motivating to see what's possible. Make sure you can get in a room like this just because it is going to be the best thing for you as far as I think they're vibrant to me personally. Like the vibe pulls me up, like their vibration pulls me up. I see it's possible. And then I go to the next step and then I can attract that in my own life. And then I can see, again, you guys need to see what's possible so you can move towards that to where if you would have told me, let's say three years ago, I would be shooting for a billion dollars 
and like truly shooting for a billion dollars because I see people who are actively on the road to doing it. I would be like, bro, you're fucking crazy. Like, like a million dollars is really good. But it just happens. And then even two years ago, with the game we were playing, I was like, oh, yeah, seven figures is awesome. Like, oh, if you're making seven figures in your business, you're a killer touring the grand. And in actual business, seven figures, like you don't even have a business yet. Like there's not even enough rev for me. Like I know for me personally, there's not even enough revenue in our companies for me to pay absolutely everybody to replace me completely. Like I still, I still am like the marketing arm. We, I'm not really the sales arm anymore, but like I, I'm still all of that. And it's not even to replace me yet. And so now we got to be bigger to get there. And it is just, it was just fascinating and crazy. It was an amazing opportunity to go speak in front of Josh's tribe. It was an amazing opportunity to go get exposed to people who are playing the game at a completely different level and seeing that that level is possible and that it's not, it's just playing, it's just deciding to play that game instead of the game you're already playing. As stupid as, as stupid as that sounds, you need to decide to play the game you want to play and quit playing the game you currently are. If you're sitting there and you're trying to play the six figure game, just decide you want to play for seven figures, and I promise you you're going to do a lot better. I hope this helps you guys out so much on your journey to creating a better life for you, your family, for all your employees, everything you do. Please, please, please shoot bigger. As we shoot bigger, we're only going to get more.